In this next segment of my conversations with Bruce Lipton, I was uh, very pleased to touch on the topic of stress, something that is very close to my own work. And I really loved Bruce's perspective and explanation of good and bad stress and how we deal with stress. So listen to Bruce on this subject now. Stress is a, a protection mechanism. It's to uh, protect us from something that threatens us. And it could be anything. It could be a saber-toothed tiger. could be uh, a bill from the insurance company. You know, all these things threaten us at some level, and we start to stress. And I say, well, what does stress do? It gets you ready to run, fight or flight. That's what stress is. Get away from this tiger. Get away from that insurance company. Run. <laughs> so the concept of being stressed causes us to release stress hormones into the body. I go, yes, it does. I say, what's the significance of stress hormones? And this is what it's all about. Simply this, to redistribute the energy of the body into the arms and legs so you could escape, fight or flight, the stress that's pursuing you. So I said, well, how, how do you get the energy into the arms and legs? I go, well, first of all, blood is the source of the energy. So the more blood in the arms and legs, the more energy you have to use those to escape the threat. So I said, well, how do you get more blood into the arms and legs? I go, this is a right out of a physiology book, Stephen. You know this one. It says, when stress hormones are released into the body, the blood is preferentially sent to the arms and legs. I go, what's that? I say, the blood is preferentially going to the arms and legs and stress because that's what I need to run. So I say, oh, big question. Where was the blood before? It was preferentially in the arms and legs. I go, it's in the gut. I say, what's the function of the gut? Maintenance of the body, repairing the body, assimilating the food, getting rid of the waste stuff, filtering all of the systems. That's the stuff that keeps us healthy and long life. And I go, so wait a minute. Stress is in my life. Saber-toothed tigers come in. I go, what? Stress hormones come in my body. I say, what are they going to do? They cause the blood vessels in the gut to squeeze shut. I go, why? Because that pushes the blood from the gut to the arms and legs so I could run. I say, so, oh, first thing of stress, you shut down the maintenance of the body. Okay. I go, ooh, that's, that's dangerous right there. But then I say, there's a second source of where energy is being used, and you don't want it to be used when you're being chased by that tiger. I go, what? The immune system. The immune system uses tremendous amount of energy because if you've ever been sick, you may not even had the energy to get out of the bed. So I say, well, what if you're being chased by a saber-toothed tiger and you got a bacterial infection? I go, how do you want to distribute the energy? Well, I can give you the answer. It's simple. The hell with the infection. <laughs> if the tiger catches you, that infection is not a problem for you anymore. So basically it says, well, then I don't need the immune system if I'm being chased by the tiger. I say, absolutely not. I say, and this is the part that comes to what the point I'm trying to make after all those words is when stress hormones are released into the body, they shut down the immune system to conserve energy to be used to run away from the threat. So I say, oh, you shut down the immune system with stress hormones? I say, it's so effective that when surgeons are going to take an organ from one person's body and put it into another person's body, they don't want the recipient's immune system to reject the organ they transplant. They give the patient before the transplant stress hormones. And that shuts down the immune system. So when they transplant the organ, it's not going to be attacked by the immune system. So stress hormones are so effective at shutting down the immune system, it is used therapeutically. So I say, so now where are we? I say, we're being chased by a tiger. Tiger. I shut the blood flow down in my gut. It's in my arms and legs. I shut off the immune system because I can't afford to waste energy on that while I'm being chased by the tiger. And I go, there's one more. I might as well add the third one because I call this an insult to the injury. You just got two injuries, shut off growth and the immune system. You want the insult? The conscious mind, which is right behind your forehead, is creative thinking, but it's a very slow processor. The rest of the brain back here, about 90%, is called subconscious mind, which is a million times more powerful a processor than the conscious mind and controls the functions of the body, essentially. And I go, so what's the point? I say, if you're being chased by a saber-toothed tiger, 
it's not time to think. <laughs> Thinking would slow you down. So I said, well, what happens? Remember I said the stress hormones cause the blood vessels in the gut to squeeze shut and push the blood to the outside? The same stress hormones in the forebrain squeeze shut, but that pushes the blood to the hindbrain. That's where the reactions occur, reflex reactions. It's fast compared to thinking. So when your stress hormones in, are put into the system, you close the blood vessels down in the forebrain and operate from hindbrain reflexes, which mean we become less intelligent. The more fear you're in, the less intelligent you become. And the less intelligent you become, the more you look for somebody who is going to save me. The pharmaceutical company is here. We're here to the rescue. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah? How much does that cost? Whatever it costs, you buy it. Okay? <laughs> the point is what? You live in fear. They're offering the resolution. And that's what people do. They buy the resolution without recognizing they could have handled it if they were using their conscious mind, but that's not working. That's the one that shuts off, and then the result is I'm victim. Victim means powerless. Yeah. Powerless means find somebody who will protect you, and that's why we spend our money getting protection from everywhere. So here's the point. Bottom line, three things. A, close down the blood vessels in the gut, shut down the maintenance of the body. B, shut down the immune system, conserve energy so we don't have any problem. C, shut down the intelligence of the system so that we can use the uh, rapid processing of reflex. And, and I go, well, this is not a problem if you're running away from a saber-toothed tiger. Why? How long does that run? 10 minutes? <laughs> if you escape the, say, the tiger in 10 minutes, guess what? There's no more stress. Oh, everything comes back to order again. I just shut it down for 10 minutes. Today's world is, of course, 24-7, 365 stress. You are dripping stress hormones in your body all day long, all year long, and the stress hormones ultimately are debilitating because you can't grow and maintain the body in a state of stress. And if you can't maintain the body in a state of stress, then your lifespan has gotten significantly shorter. Yeah.